on the other side of imagination, there lies Operencia, a world where reality embraces fantasy, where dreams foretell destinies, where history meets legend. I hail from this land, and I have a story to tell. I was there when the great dragon Thade rose from the depths. None could stop him. Humanity faced its doom until arrived the Sword of Legend, until arrived Attila. seen this coming. Well, it's not every day an army dares launch a surprise attack against the mighty Attila. And it is not any day that an army defeats him. Admit it. Part of you admires such an ambitious assault. <laughs> you know me too well, Rekka. It's just... You prefer to be the one surprise attacking. Like I said, you know me too well. We're here. Be ready for anything. The source of the invasion lies ahead. Have you any idea what to expect? Possibly. Perhaps you'd like to prepare me. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. And there we have it. A scorned past love on a quest for revenge. I wish I could immediately dismiss that assumption. Oh, this will be interesting. I'll let you handle this, my love. Nicely done. Some fire. Let's go back to the huts. I have an idea. There, that bucket. Yes, let's grab it. I hope you're ready for this. My sword is always ready. Of course. But is your bucket? Let's fill it down here. There we are. A full bucket. You might want to ready your bow, my queen. We'll need it soon. Like it's time for some real action now. The 
These are no everyday marauders. This gate spawns creatures Operencia has never seen. Don't worry, human. There are many more to come. They talk. Not for long.
Who's next? My king. My queen. You have arrived. And so has a Taltosh, judging by your robes. But not one I recognize. Who are you? Gunsel, your majesty. A traveler. Strange that none of my troops accompany you. Where are they? Dead. Please, come with me. We were very close to sealing the gates when a wave of underworlders came along. Slaughtered everyone. Underworlders have been known to craft gates to Operencia, but nothing close to this enormity. Let's seal this damn thing. I see the light traps are in place. I'll activate the first dish. I am blessed to witness your powers of light firsthand, my lady. It's only the beginning, friend. Reflecting solid rays across the gate will seal it. The dishes can be grabbed and moved to reflect upon one another until the gate is sealed. As if I did not already know this. Um, you were just... I had always heard gates to the underworld are much smaller than this, even undetectable to most Operentians. I know only of gates intended for individuals. This is the first centered on full-scale invasion. How many others have you seen, my lord? Just one. Long ago. Far away. Soldiers seemed to retrieve this part did not return. Good. This was feeling too easy. Let's hope it's nearby.
I barely lifted my blade. There it is, the missing dish. Oh, heavy. My card is nearby if you need it. He'll <laughs> manage. I think you know what goes here, Your Majesty. Naturally. A pointless challenge! Good try. Now we only have an entire underworld army to deal with. Sounds like my kind of a day. Their celebration was short. A surprise attack from above burnt everything around them to a crisp. What was that? Exactly what you're thinking it was. A dragon. Surely they are only legend. If only they were. I'm suddenly feeling a lot less safe. Uh, no offense, Your Majesty. <sighs> Did you see it? Yes. Yes? It's too 
bad you won't be able to face him yourselves. Succubus, to me! If I must... Your reluctant succubus hails from the underworld, wizard. You do not. Why must you stand in our way? My order knows what is best for this realm. That is all you need to know, King. Succubus, attack! I... I... Now! No. It's a wonder she stayed with you that long. Now you must actually fight for yourself. They will not deny our victory. Call that a fight? You have only to meet your death, Conqueror. You will not defeat the dragon. I beg to differ. Aren't you? 
I was warned long ago this day would come, but I never believed it. Are you so eager to die, dragon? You represent your species well, human. Completely ignorant and full of hostility. Says the leader of an invading army? Though born in darkness, dragon kind favors the light. Long have I watched from below, as my brothers and sisters have attempted peaceful homesteads in the middle world, only to face constant threats from humanity. We seek a realm under the sun, here in Uberencia. You simply will not allow it. You are no different than the others, Thade. Do not pretend dragons have ever arrived to Operencia fueled by anything but fury and malice. You are wrong, because I am different. I am the first to enter this realm with nothing but fury and malice. It is the only way. Can we kill him now? Yes. To arms!
that sword. I was not prepared. Few are. None are. Did you truly hope to resolve this matter with sheer brute force? It seemed to work for you. You still don't understand, do you? I suppose I never will. Attila's triumph cemented his legacy. The scourge of demons. Peace reigned until one day the great king died and with him order and unity. Attila's great battle was but a forgotten tale. Driven by vengeance, the underworld developed a new plan. With no strong leaders in Operencia, who would dare try to stop them from invading the middle world? Who, indeed? Long ago and far away, a young farmer dreamed. A white stag guiding him to a special place. Every night it returned as he slumbered. The same deer, the same hidden path, the same castle under a lake. His father knew this to be a sign, surely the work of Chodasarvash, a miraculous deer of legend. Reluctantly, he urged his son to follow the calling and to never look back. For he was a young farmer no more. The next morning, the young warrior admired the sunrise. He set forth on a journey he did not yet understand. His only guide, a vision that made him question his sanity. It would only get stranger from here. A sense of awe struck the young warrior as he approached the sunken castle. He had no explanation for the unnatural sight before him. A pathway led from the forest to the foot of the lake and then through it. As he passed through the swirling wall of water, his wonder suppressed his fear. Each muddy step drew him closer to his destiny.
Inside the gate sat the figure of a man against a pillar. He appeared unconscious. Or worse, the young warrior thought him dead. He poked at the body with his flimsy blade, just to be sure. Ow! Hey, how did... who, uh... did you just poke me with a sword? How do I know I shouldn't have done more than just poke? You have nothing to fear from me, friend. I'm guessing you even have me to thank for entering this cursed castle in the first place. Well, you're not stealing my reward. I've already had enough taken from me today. Reward? Of course. You created the path in the lake? I possess... well, possessed... the magical amulet of Zotmund, and I went through hell to acquire it. The amulet's power opened up the entrance here. Thing is... It's no longer mine. As I entered this forsaken fortress, a wretched old man saw fit to pin me down with an arrow and steal it. And for good measure, he knocked me out with his bow just before he left with the amulet. The welt on your forehead is remarkable, yet you're basically unharmed. He seemed to take great care not to irrevocably harm you. Tell that to this irrevocable headache. Help me up, please. I think I'm all right. Well, good. Then you can tell me what you know about this place. Happily. I'll explain as we go. As we go? I wish you well, whoever you are. But I don't need you joining me. The name is Yoshka. I don't care what yours is. And I'm not joining you. You are joining me. That's not how this works. I'll just shut up and open that chest. Should be a key in there. <laughs> 